Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about one of the property of the table field called access by permission. So, uh, just like uh, last week, we have learned about this property allow in customization. So, uh, in the same manner, uh, we will learn about this new property. So, before we start, I just want to tell you the background so that uh, you will be able to easily understand the concept of this property called access by permission. So I'm using the same extension which I have deployed uh, last week. But the only change is if you see here that I have this uh, original table with me, which have these fields like basic fields, number, name, amount, address, phone number, and bin code, right? Then I have this uh, page, list page, and the card page, sorry, this is the list page and this is the card page for this table. And here also I have used all the same fields without any much things so like there is no additional code return or any additional property I have been used. Okay, so simply uh, just normal card page and the list page. Other than that, I have added one more custom table, which is uh, go which goes with this name access test. And it has only number and name. And so the list page of this table which also have the number and name. So as simple as that, two tables and three pages, right? So after when I deploy this extension, and if I show you in the business central, let's open this up, page, test page. Currently, you can see that in the, in the list page, I have this number, name, amount, and bin code. And if you open the card page also, you have this number, name, amount, address, and bin code. So this, these are the five fields are currently showing up to me for this user. Okay. So now if I show you the users page, so for to show the results of this property, which we will learn today, I, I will use the two different users. So for example, this user with uh, which I have currently logged in, this user have the super rights. So if I show you the permissions, uh, yeah, so if I show you the permissions, it has a super right. So that means I can access every object which I have used in this extension, like these two tables, these pages and everything. Whereas if I show you the second user, the second user Ellen is not the super user. If you see the permissions currently, these permissions are just the basic kind of permissions with respect to certain operations and so on. There is no super. Okay. So now what I have done is that for this extension, I want that my user, this second user Ellen can access this, these objects of uh, this extension as well. So I have created one custom extension table, custom permission set, basically. And if you see the permissions, it has the table data 50100, the table test table, like that means uh, this Allen user can access the data of this table and page uh, every every page that uh, this user can access. But the thing is, in this extension, I have one more table called access test, which, uh, which does not come under this test permission. So this user, although can access this table data, but cannot access this table access test, right? So uh, the thing is, currently, uh, for example, if I show you test here, this user currently can see number, name, amount, bin code, Okay, so sorry, this is the super user. So it can access both uh, test as well as access test, right? And if I show you the second user, and let's see if I can access the test. Yes, I can access the test. And it has number, name, amount, bin code, address, everything is coming up and here as well, right? So currently, if you see this bin code field is showing up uh, for this user as well and for this main user as well. Whereas, uh, like if I want to access the second table, 
that second table is not accessible to the second user which does not have the super rights whereas the first user can access both the tables right so now let's do one thing i am opening the same table which both the users can access and in this i have this field called bin code so what i can do is that i want a uh, that this bin code field should be accessible uh, to the limited people who have the right to access this table data called access test this table access test okay if any user who does not have the access of this table then or any any other requirement so what we can do basically that we can use this property called access by permission right so what it takes is that so it takes the options of the same like how we define the permissions that i want the table data and the table name is access test equals to let's say r read permissions right so any user who does not have the access of read of this table called access test then that then this bin code field will not be available for that user although the table uh, this table rights are given to the user but then also this field will not be available let's see what is the output of this property now okay so what i can do i can let's build the project and let's say let's publish the project as well and then we will see how it will perform extensions uh, success it successfully uh, deployed or published the extension to my environment so i think within a few minutes it will open up come on I think some error has occurred okay not sure if my extension is published if I have to see this let me do one thing I can change the version to 1.1 and then let me delete this okay and if i see the changes yeah let's build the project and let's publish the project okay it's done okay so currently it is opening up let me close the old window and yes so currently if you see i am with this user who have the super rights so let's see if uh, i can open the test page and here i can see that bin code is available obviously because this user is test uh, this user is a super user so it has the access of both the test table and the access test and thus uh, there is uh, no problem in accessing that bin code field whereas uh, what i can do is that if i see my second user and uh, let me refresh it because i have published the extension so i have to restart or refresh it and then uh, we will see that now will there be any impact of that property which we have learned 
and you can see clearly that system has opened a test page and now the bin code field is not showing up not even in the list uh, or not even in the card right only number name amount and address whereas if I see the super user it has the number name amount address and bin code so you can see clearly the difference that now the second user who does not have the access of my second table access test cannot basically access uh, this uh, what you say the pin code field right whereas my super user can have the access of that pin code field so this is sometimes uh, where uh, you let's say get an error from your users from your client that uh, some of my users are not being able to see some of the fields of the page but I can see so this all happens because of the permission sets but of course this uh, do depend sometimes when you see that all the permissions of the page also uh, uh, looks fine but if you look at the code and you will see this property then this property also plays a very important role in assigning the permissions by a code and if you want to hide any particular field you can do that via this so i hope uh, you now understood the concept of this property and in case you like it though, like this video request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video